Hi, this is Marty McGee with Company Juice Development Team. Uh, this is just a quick video cast on how to create a form using Gravity Forms on your Juice website. Uh, as you can see, we have one in here already, uh, but we're going to add a new one. So we click this Add New button and we just give it the form a, a title here. Uh, we'll just call it uh, Send Us a Message and we don't need a description of the form. We'll go ahead and click the Create Form button. It'll save and redirect us to the form editor for this new form. And as you can see over here, it's giving you directions on what to do. Um, and uh, we'll just skip over that and uh, go straight to the area to add fields to the form, which is over here on the right. <clears throat> Now with any form you have different types of fields that you'd want to use but we're going to go ahead and click on advanced fields. Uh, specifically we're going to add three very simple fields name, uh, email, and phone number. Uh, so we click on advanced fields these pop up and uh, we'll start with name and I click on that and it pops up over here and now uh, when I uh, just click on it I get these properties and this advanced tab uh, for name I don't want it to split first and last on this particular one so I'm gonna say under name format I'm just gonna say simple and you'll see that will refresh with just a single line for the name and then uh, we'll want to require the name so under rules we'll put a checkbox next to required and then uh, the last thing we want to do for this field is click the advanced tab and change the field size to, from medium, which is the default, to a large field. And you'll see the field just went all the way to the end here. Uh, there are other uh, settings for each field, but we uh, aren't really interested in those. This is just a very simple form here. Uh, so once we're done, we can uh, move on to the next field. I like to minimize it by clicking it again and I can see that that one's taken care of there. And of course I can update the form at this point, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add uh, email and phone number real quick before I save it again. So we'll put email second. I clicked that one, click on email. Uh, we can make sure they add it twice or uh, add it, uh, confirm their email address, but I don't really wanna do that here. We'll just leave that one unchecked and they'll just enter it once and if they screw up their own email address oh well <laughs> um, we do want to require it so we put a check under the rules for required and uh, go over to the advanced tab again and change it from a medium size to a large size and that's it that's uh, our email field and we can minimize that one and then add our phone number field here uh, click it here's the format that we want we want to require this one as well and we want to make it large and then let's go ahead and add a fourth uh, field for a message some sort of message that the uh, the person can can add uh, normally that's not uh, required but this is actually going to go on our contact us form so uh, we're going to just add that fourth field here uh, instead of an advanced field I'll just go uh, back to standard fields here and uh, what I'll want to do is uh, for the message is click on paragraph text and that'll give us a big box that the uh, the client or visitor can type into when I click on that it should show up down here and I want to change it from untitled to message and I can set the maximum number of characters if I want. I don't want to require a message at this point. Maybe they don't want to say anything. <laughs> they just want to have us contact them. So I'll leave that blank. And then again, uh, for message actually is very big by default. So I want to actually shrink that a little bit and I want the field size to be small. Um, that's it. So we have four fields. We have a full form created and I'll go ahead and click on update form and the form updated successfully now when I click back on forms on the left here other one it'll uh, it'll be there and available for us 
right next to the other one that was there. Great, so we have two forms now. Now, most importantly, we want to go into the form once we've created it, and we want to uh, just hover over settings, or you can click on settings and then go here, but uh, if you hover over settings, um, we want to go to notifications. This is where the system uh, sends email notifications. We want to make sure that those are going to the right place and everybody gets informed if somebody does fill out this form. So I click on notifications and I can see that by default there is one admin notification that goes out. So yes, we definitely receive the form when it's submitted by default. But what I want to do is I also want to notify the user or the, the visitor that entered their information saying thank you for entering your information. Um, you know, yada, yada, yada. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Just a confirmation to that uh, visitor. So I'll click on notifications. I want to click add new. Or I could duplicate this one, but let's just start. They're not very hard to create. I want to type in for the name of this uh, user notification as opposed to admin notification. And because we use that advanced field for email in the form, I can just uh, click this radio button, select a field, and I want to send this notification to the email address that the user is providing. So we can tie that in by choosing these two things here. And then, of course, I want to say it's from us, you know, it's from a name of somebody, in this case, Marty McGee. Or you can just leave that blank and have it be from your email address, whatever your admin email address is for your website. And then, of course, if you wanted to uh, blind carbon copy it to another email address, you could definitely do that, and it's recommended. Um, the subject is required, so... Um, it can be anything. Um, for this particular example, we'll just say thank you for contacting us. Um, and then we'll, we're going to want to write something friendly. Well, I've already copied and I'll just go ahead and paste in the message that I would want to sort of write. It's very generic, but uh, it'll get you started. Um, and then as you can see here, we do include the fields that this person filled out so that it's sort of like, hey, this is the information that we did receive. Thank you very much. We'll call you or get uh, in touch with you as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, that's our user notification. It's going to the user's email that they filled out. It's coming from us. And uh, <clears throat> we're basically confirming that we received the, uh, the uh, form capture. We'll go ahead and save this notification. And uh, now that we have two notifications for this form, one to the administrator, which is us, and one to the user, which is them, uh, the form is now complete. So we can go over to forms again. And now we have two Gravity forms that we can use throughout our website landing pages. Um, OK. Uh, how to use those and how to drop those in is uh, for another video, and I'll see you next time at that. Thanks.